mighty Tyrins. Built by the Cyclopses, or so the legend goes. Sharp watch here. What are you doing here? Hippocrates sent me. Your commander stole his notes, and I think you have them. The ones written by the great Hippocrates himself? I'm sorry. They were burned in the last attack. What? You heard me. The medical tent was burned. At least I memorized the notes before we lost them. Now transcribe them when I have time, or when the war subsides. Then you'll have to come with me. A patient Hippocrates is treating will die without your help. I have a patient right here who needs my help. Can't someone else take care of this one? I'm the only doctor here. Now let me work. I'll wait here for you to finish. If I leave, what's stopping you from running away? Thinking like a mercenary. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. Then make yourself useful and bring me my bone forceps. Some idiot or another's always borrowing them. Then you'll come treat Hippocrates' patient? You have my word. I'll go get your bone forceps. should be in there. Once I deliver these, we can get back to Hippocrates. These are the forceps he wanted.
Is this it? You want a half bad assistant. When I'm done with the surgery, I'll be honored to help Hippocrates. Might be limping for a while, but Apollo willing, they'll make a full recovery. I'll meet you there. Don't be late. Hippocrates, how's the patient? I couldn't remember the proper steps for treatment and you were gone so long. Your notes were destroyed in a fire. This mistress brought me here to help. I went to see the priests first. I had to find out about my mother. A worthy pursuit, though it cost this man his life. The payment we should seek is the preservation of life. A good doctor puts the needs of his patients first. I have learned a lesson today. I will take some time and write down what I remember of your notes, Hippocrates. Hippocrates, I'm sorry the patient died, but I still need to know what happened to my mother. Come with me. We should talk. The importance of diet to maintaining one's health cannot be overstated. What good can one apple really do? <laughs> well, taken daily, they can keep the doctor away. But... Two more serious matters. I know why you're here. You're looking for your mother. You remember her? I was young then. I didn't know how to help. I turned her away. But her look of determination and despair was burned into my mind. It has never left me, and it never will. After, I swore to Apollo that I wouldn't turn away another patient. That I'd dedicate my life to the cause. She made an impression on me. Your brave mother did. She would be happy to know that. I know something that may help you find her. I swore I would never tell anyone about Dolops and his past. But I owe this to your mother. Who's Dolops? He was a priest who dedicated his life to helping orphans. It's possible he remembers that night long ago. Maybe he would know something about your mother and her child. I'll go see this man. Thank you, Hippocrates. The man Hippocrates mentioned, but he's hiding. Go away! Calm down. Hippocrates sent me. The great doctor is concerned for my health? Yes. And we need some information. Tell him... ...someone tried to kill me. Kill you? 
He said you worked with orphans. That's why I'm here. That was long ago. Now I'm just a farmer. And I'm Amistheus. If I stop this killer, will you speak with me? I will. Tell me what happened. I was on my way home when a man dressed in black attacked me. I ran as fast as I could. Once I reached safety, I thought I heard wolves. Maybe they scared him away. Are you hurt? No. Thank Ira. Why would someone attack you? My neighbor thinks I'm bad luck. He may be right. There's a difference between insulting someone and attacking them. What else? I'm behind on my rent. I think my landlord wants to get rid of me and find a new tenant. I'll find out who wants you dead. It was my neighbor or my landlord who attacked me. But you can't punish someone unless you know they're guilty. I'll be back when I figured it out. Then, we're talking about your past. This armor is broken, but it was valuable. If it belonged to the attacker, he's either wealthy or very lucky. This black cloth is fine enough for a king. Would do well as a mask, too. This knife has seen better days. Like something a poor farmer would use. I'm looking for the person who attacked Dolops. I saw it happen. His face was covered, but I'm sure it was our landlord. He lives all alone and hires soldiers to protect him. He has to be hiding something. Thanks for letting me know. Did you see someone attack Dolops? Yes. It was terrible. Who did it? I couldn't see clearly, but I think it was that bull-headed neighbor of his. He must have finally snapped. Thanks for letting me know. Mistios! You scared me! I know who did it. What do you think? Who tried to kill me? It was your landlord. Of course. He wants me out of the way. I'll take care of him. Be careful. He's dangerous.
Your landlord is dead. And he was a lot more than that, though. He was one of those people, wasn't he? I can't. Please, take this. You might find it useful. You wanted to know something. Hippocrates said you used to work with orphans. I did, but Chrysis drove me away. So she did? Where did you last see her? In the woods near the sanctuary of Asclepios. But that was many years ago. Where do you think Chrysis is now? I can't be sure. But she used to pray at the altar of Apollo Maleatas. That's where she decided which children to train and which to let die. How did you come to work with Chrysis? I didn't have a choice. She's my mother. Chrysis kept you a secret. My birth brought shame to her. I could never redeem that. What was Chrysis doing that was so terrible? She would take the children and teach them terrible things. Turn them into spies and even soldiers. I couldn't take it anymore and left. At a secret meeting in Delphi, I overheard Chrysis mention a great warrior. Could these children have been part of her plan? So she did see the Oracle. Oh, yes. Chrysis spoke of building an army with a champion at its head. It must have been for her associates. The masked ones. You have done your duty to Ira. I'll deal with Chrysis. Hush, my child. May Ira bless our sacred family. My mother. I must find this altar of Apollo Maleatas. <laughs> There's the statue of Apollo. And the altar. Chris. A warning. I must be getting close. seems to run in your bloodline, oh mighty eagle bearer. Don't you dare speak of my family, snake. I still remember the night your mother brought me my child. The sad, pathetic thing, crying in the rain. Had I known then that Mirini had two children. But here you are. My family is complete. You speak of family, yet you sent cult puppets to silence your own son. They're dead, by the way. Dolop ceased being my son when he turned his back on the gods. You mean turned his back on you? The baby was destined to be mine. He was too stupid to understand that. You let my mother believe her baby was dead. But he was. Oh, how she wept when his little heart stopped beating. But then I took care of him, placed him on this very altar, Scream for the gods to spare his life, and they listened. What did you do with my brother? I saved his life by teaching him to suffer. 
to know pain so well that he would learn to welcome it like an old friend. And now he will teach all of the Greek world to know that pain. You tortured him? He was just a baby! I taught him to survive. This world is cruel. It demands strength or death, so I gave him strength. Where did my mother go that night? That weakling crawled to the hills of Corinth. The monger was supposed to deliver her back to me, but she can't hide forever. She will give us more children. I'll run my spear through your throat for the pain you've caused. <laughs> this world is pain. I gave the most strength to cope. Your mother was a weakling who whined to the gods like a pig on an altar. I am more a mother to her child than she will ever be. I can be a mother to you too, Eagle Bearer. This goes beyond my family. You and your cult are going to destroy the Greek world. You bring nothing but suffering. You talk of suffering, and yet you come drenched in blood and threaten my life. You are a killer, just like your brother. He'll show you. My child! This baby is yours? He was dying. Chrysis had me bring a gift to Ira so that he might be protected. Chrysis lit the temple on fire with the boy and me inside. Chrysis is a servant of Ira. She does what needs to be done. What needs to be done? She left your baby to burn alive. And you saved him. God bless you, Eagle Bearer. Sleep now, sweet child. Mater is here. I'm not sure saving that baby was the right thing to do. Chrysis's reign of terror must end. If what Chrysis said was true, Mirini believes my brother died long ago. I should have enough information now. I should head back to Athens to see Aspasia. I can't let Chrysis walk free. I'll kill that mother. Hippocrates, it's good you're here. Is it? Look around you. Athens is dying. What do you think is going on? I don't know. What I do know is that it kills without discrimination. Rich, poor, philosopher or farmer. And I'm helpless to stop it. What's happening to the victims? Leaking, postulant rashes, raging fevers, pallid, sweaty skin. I find many dying in their own excrement. Is there nothing that can be done? I try and ease the suffering where I can. The plague is spreading through the victims' excretions. I'm sure of it. The bodies must be burned. Your compassion for the people has always inspired me. Unfortunately, compassion is all I have to give. The gods have shown me how arrogant I had become. We're only mortal. And the gods like to remind us whenever they can. I need help burning the bodies, Cassandra. Fanatics are roaming the streets trying to stop me in my work. What fanatics? The followers of Ares. 
superstitious fools. They believe burning the dead is sacrilege and attacked me. Can you believe it? These followers of Ares don't worry me. I'll help burn the bodies. Cassandra, you're back. Got to run, sorry. Wait, where? I'll be right back. See you at the spacias. Sometimes I think you are too much like me. Oh, Cassandra, you've returned to Athens. What's left of Athens? The world we've built is crumbling at our feet. It's as loud as a battlefield out there, and as violent. They're calling for Pericles' head, as though he should know how to handle this catastrophe. No one is prepared for the end of the world. I came to talk to you. I found out some things about my mother. Her name, her ship... Cassandra, it's not the time. Pericles is dying. He won't see me. He won't let Hippocrates in his room. He only babbles about going to his precious Parthenon. Pericles is a strong man. I'm sure he can fight the sickness. You heard the mob. He can't defend himself. He'll die with no glory. Athens has known him a lot longer than they've known this plague. He gave them a voice. His accomplishments will speak for him. <sighs> Pericles needs treatment, and the gods know he won't let me in. He respects you. Could you go to him? I could try. If you do, I will make the time to talk about your mother. For now, he needs your help. It's worth a shot. Sandra. Yes. Come in. It's embarrassing. Someone so strong seeing me like this. I admit, you don't quite look yourself. I don't feel like myself either. I brought your drugs. Ah, yes. It's usually Phoebe who does the delivering. At least I'm alive. 
Though I can't say the same for my city. It's a shadow of what it was. Well, it will belong to Cleon now. He will have to lift it out of its sorry state. I wish to see it with my own eyes. Come to the balcony. Much has changed. I can't even stand up straight to look death in the eye. You'll recover sooner if you let Hippocrates see you. It's my time. The plague chooses his no favorites. I fear I've failed Athens. Its people? Aspasia? No, you haven't. Ah, you're kind, but I've lost. Aspasia needs protection, as does Athens. I thought I gave enough to Athena, but it seems it isn't so. I should be out there, on the streets. You'd be overtaken. There are mobs, and Cleon's doing nothing to calm them. Thank the gods, Cleon won't see me like this. But that's all I can thank the gods for. They've turned on me. The gods definitely aren't in Athens. I hardly recognize it here. It's like the Tartarus. Athens' fate is decreed. All we can do now is wait. You should go back inside. You need to rest. Where I should be is in the Parthenon. My greatest legacy to Athens. We need the gods' blessing. But Aspasia... Aspasia's right. She often is. But not about this. Yes. I'll go inside. Thank you, Cassandra. Tell my Aspasia I was a good boy and took my drugs. I will. Pericles let me in. He took his drugs without complaint. Thank you. Something wrong? I expected Phoebe back by now. I saw her in the crowds outside. Did you send her somewhere? I had her go to Anastasios to see about a ferry. As soon as Pericles is strong enough, we're leaving Athens. We have to. But now she's missing. I'm sure she's all right. Aspasia, there's a plague. You've seen the streets. She's just a child. Give her the credit she deserves. She's more of a fighter than I was at her age. I told Pericles the cult is in Athens. It's too dangerous. The cult? I thought it was the sickness talking. I'm going to look for her. Where is Anastasios' house? It's across from the Odeon of Pericles. Here. This looks like the place. Demos must be carrying through on his threat. This was savage. Done to send a message. to prove. No! 
baby. No, 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 no. Earth, mother of all, I greet you. Aniazu. Cassandra! Are you all right? I need to speak to Aspasia. We must find Pericles first. He's missing. I don't fucking care! Tell me where Aspasia is! Cassandra! <sighs> I'm sorry, baby. Aspasia went to find Pericles at the Parthenon. She should be there. I think we'd better go with her. I agree, my friend, I agree. into you. Phoebe is dead. She's dead because you sent her to do your work. No, I... It's not true. Phoebe wanted to go. She told me she would be all right. And you believe that child? You know Phoebe. She wouldn't have taken no for an answer. It was out of my hands. Out of your hands? You sent her away. You could have protected her. What I asked of her was needed to protect Pericles. She lived to help others, Cassandra. She lived to help you. It's a tragedy. She should be here. Of course she should. But you know the cost of living this life. I do. But did Phoebe? Aspasia, you're here. Any sign of Pericles? If he's here, he's inside praying. He refused to stay safe in the villa. Things have gotten even worse in the Agora. It's madness. Speak later and act now. Pericles. Go! I'm going to destroy everything you ever created. Athens is mine. Pericles! Out of my way. All is lost now. He was a great man. Perhaps greater than we even knew. We need to get her out of Athens. We'll take my ship. We have to leave. Don't let him die in vain. Never.
We have to move quickly. Stay close, just in case. Stop! Cleon has ordered that no one leave Athens. And he wants Aspasia brought to him. I'm not going. Leave! Don't let them go! Oh, you will you. not walk away! going to stay, Cassandra. What? Why? My work is here. I can't leave the Athenians in the state they're in. You don't need us to protect Aspasia. Leave Athens to us. The city has been taken. This isn't the Athens you used to know. That is why I must stay. We must begin again. <sighs> You're sure? I have lived as an Athenian, and I will die as an Athenian. Then do something for me, both of you. Of course. Retrieve Phoebe's body. Give her a proper burial. Everything she deserves, and more. Thank you. Time to go, Cassandra. And I expect to see you both again, alive. The farther we get from Athens, the quieter it grows. As though it's peaceful. But I know better. I'm sorry, Aspasia. About Pericles. And Athens. You have no need to apologize. For anything. I did everything I could to keep people safe. No one thinks otherwise, Cassandra. The cult of Cosmos simply had a plan we didn't see soon enough, and they struck when the time was right. About Phoebe? No, allow me. Phoebe was my responsibility. I should have kept her closer to me. It was a mistake. No, I wanted to apologize. It wasn't your fault. I'm sorry. Yet another murder to the cult's credit. I'll make each of them beg for mercy before I kill them. The time will come. For now, let us look to the future. Do you have a heading? I was hoping you would help me with that. Yes, of course. This woman. Phinecas. Her ship was called Siren Song. Phinecas. Yes, I know the name. Last anyone heard, her ship was docked on the island of Naxos. <sighs> then we go to Naxos to see Phinecas. Pointed in me. 
Listen, any mother would want a child as brave and as loyal as you. If I were your mother, I would be the nervous one. You think so? I know so. Now go and find her. You waited long enough for this. 